Hi, my name's George and today I'm going to be talking about utilising tax efficient giving. So, what qualifies as giving? There are three main features, the first being you must receive little to nothing in return. So as you can see on the right here, we can see the maximum value of benefit you are allowed to gain from your donation. Secondly, the company must be exempt from corporation tax. Most of the time this, this means it must be a charity or education das religious group. Last but not least, you must have proof of the donation. This could be in the form of a cheque. Donating as an individual through GiftAid. For every £1 you donate, GiftAid will add another 25p on top so the charity will receive an extra quarter of the donation. You can backdate this for up to four years so if you're watching this and remember that you donated a few years ago, simply go to their website and fill out the form. This figure will cap at four times your tax figure for the year. For example, if you paid £1,000 of income tax last year, the maximum the 25% increase will go up to is £4,000. This can include income and capital gains tax, however will not include dividend tax. High rate taxpayers can also deduct the additional gift aid donation from their taxable income. For example, if you donated £100, the charity would receive £125, so this £25 extra can be deducted as an expense when preparing your tax return. Donating as a limited company works slightly different. Here are some of the benefits. First of all, if you donate money, this will count as a deductible expense on your corporation tax return, therefore meaning you will pay less tax. If you donate stock and inventory, you can claim as nil sales figure, and if the charity plans to sell or hire out the goods afterwards, you can claim 0% VAT on these products. If you donate equipment, you can still claim capital allowances. This means 100% of the purchase price can be offset against corporation tax. If you donate land and property, no capital gains tax will be due, and you will be able to deduct the market value of the property against your corporation tax. If you volunteer employees, you can still claim all usual expenses and wages within work hours, albeit while they are helping out a great cause. All of the above apply until a profit is nil, so I'm afraid you won't be getting any tax rebates from donating. Sponsorships work in a different way to donations as you receive something in return. However, they will still qualify as an advertising and marketing expense if in return the charity does one of the following things publicly supports your product or services, allows you to use their and or uses your logo on printed and online products, allows you to sell goods or services at their events, links their website to yours, or promotes you in any other way that is sufficient and reasonable. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at george at jacksonstapleton.co.uk.